We have 33-year-old Kale, who's from Hawaii, and he's always been in sports and an adventurer. So he was climbing a mountain one day with some friends, going full blast, and drove his head right into a thick tree trunk. Collapsed, fell back, got up, and continued the day. A couple days later, he checked himself into a hospital because he was having all these weird symptoms. They diagnosed him with concussion and gave him some drugs. Still feels like crap. You can see all his symptoms here. You can see his x-rays. His jaw looks like he was clocked clean. You can see he has a compression fracture in his low back. Giddy up. <sighs> I might just cry because it felt so good. Uh, my name's Kalei. I'm 33 years old. What do you for? Uh, I do. I work inside sales for Ferguson. It's a giant plumbing company. Recently, I got a concussion. I was on a hike with some friends, and I wasn't paying attention. And I pretty much ran into a tree limb, pretty thick tree limb, straight on my head, knocked me to the ground. About four or five days later, got in the car and felt what? Um, I felt real bad tension on my neck, uh, sometimes up over my head, um, some jaw, facial tension. Um, Base of, base of my neck, upper back as well. Um, it progressively got worse um, because I just wasn't resting. And then eventually I had to go to the ER and I got a couple CAT scans in my head. And what did they tell you? What was the diagnosis? Um, they, as far as the CAT scans went on my head and my upper neck, it was fine, which is good because there's no extra fluids and all that. But uh, I knew there was something still wrong because my head tension and strain was still there. Mm -hmm. And I knew I had to see, see, see somebody. Gotcha. But what did the doctor say your diagnosis was there? that I had a concussion and whiplash. He found me on TikTok because I had a video I did on concussion there. He goes, I didn't know chiropractic could help concussions, right? Yeah. Perfect. So what kind of medication are you taking? Um, just a prescription Motrin, high, like a 600 milligram, and then some Flexeril for like uh, muscle relaxation. Yeah. Tell them how the medications helped you or not. Um, you? It, you know, it honestly takes away like the top pain that you might feel, but the tension is still present. Like you know that there's something still bothering me. Fair enough. Number one thing you're here for is again, this pressure in his head. He feels like there's a pulling on his face, right? Mm -hmm. Some sinus issues, uh, tension wearing your neck. Where's the tension in your neck? Uh, the base of my neck and then right below, behind my yeah, ears. Suboccipitals. Since the accident, since he hit his head, uh, ringing the ears. Tell us about that. Um, on the one side, every on occasion, maybe once a day, I get like ringing on the left. Tell us about this anxiety you never had um, before. I, I really never had this kind of anxiety before and ever since this injury I've like I, I go from zero to hundred where I'm sitting or relaxing, I'm in a resting state and I, I have to get up, I have to change position, get comfortable, grab something and and really bothering you mentally. Yeah. He hasn't admitted it yet, but brain fog. If you listen to the way he's talking, he's kind of slow on the uptake. He's kind of trying to remember things. We've gone through this already, and the way he recollects his information is completely different. He's talking to me now the way he said it a few minutes ago. Please. Any pain in your back there, sir? No. Can't lean back. Not because of his back, because his neck hurts so bad like this, mm -hmm. right? How much pressure is in your neck? How much pain is your neck? Uh, I'd say five or six right at the base, the okay. bottom. Okay. He sort of moves his whole body over, and you can see him twist his body a little bit. How much pain there, sir? Six or seven. And the ring in your ears, what number is that right now? Mm, three or four. And that face tension, do you have a number on that? Can you give me I would say that? five almost always. Like it's right just now, you feel here, it? yeah. And then sometimes I can feel in my jaw like. What about your sinuses know? right now? Do they feel tight too? They right feel now? tight right on my nose. We're gonna get it treated. Let you guys watch a freaking miracle on camera right now. Quick look at his x-rays. Uh, this guy is 33, but he has the spine of, I would say, a 50 year old. He's laughing because he knows how much shit he's put his, put his body through. His spine is messed up. So I would point a lot of arrows there. Uh, his jaw looks like he got his clocked cleaned i mean his jaw is so freaking far off and you guys check that out too x-rays reveal massive jaw misalignment 13 degree scoliosis here we have eight millimeter short right leg massive constipation one third atlas wear huge skull growth in the back of his head reverse curve and arthritis here we have l2 compression fracture arthritis and constipation this right side is yeah, right so there. lit up i can feel it <laughs> so i was curious what he'd say his anxiety is going up right now. You can yeah. feel it. Uh, by the way, I'm doing his reverse curve, lower neck. He's a low reverse curve. Atlas is worn out. He has a huge growth on the back of his neck, on the back of his head. So this has been going on for a long time. You guys ready? Are you ready? Working on it. <laughs> he seems like a tough guy. Mid-cervical guys. A lot of chiropractors will be like, oh my God, are you going to do his atlas? Hell no. Take our time. Trust is the most important thing here for me. So just let it go. How much pain is that? No, it hurts. It hurts, gotcha. We're just kind of taking the slack out. He's pretty flexible. I want to make sure I get it right the first time. Okay, just let me have your whole head come this way. Yeah, relax. Oh. Painful, scary, why the I might, I might just cry because it felt so good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's a good. It's a good cry. It's a good cry. Good. Usually they are. Yeah. Good. The more you let go, the better, sir. The better you can do. Take our time. This way. But it's still nervous. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. See, 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 guys. Even though I helped him a ton, he's still nervous. And again, for all the new doctors out there, patience is a virtue, guys. Patience is a virtue. Forcing yourself on a patient is not going to help them. Okay, sir. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, hear that? He's a little bit of a self-adjuster. You can feel that right there. I didn't ask that question. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> like, I'm ready to just get it over, but... I know, and I, I may be too dramatic for you, but I really don't want to do it twice, so I want to make sure I do it right the first time. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, um, I can just force it again, but I don't want to force it because I want to make sure I get it right once. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Breathe in your nose, breathe in your nose. Out the mouth. Good. Good. He's so flexible, I really have to take the flexibility out. Good. This way. Good. <clears throat> that one wasn't as shocking because the first one was like, I could, I don't know if you can feel like your, um, not your veins, like your, uh, your sensory, you know, like this, that first one, it was like a shock, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, we don't even know this guy. And so usually you know somebody a little bit more when we start working on him. <laughs> All your reactions are so, so perfect. Are you online? Do you yeah. have a site? What's yeah. your site? I'm on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Upsy daisy, Clay. Now we're telling him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. He's a little off. We're going to see how he's doing. Let's check in with Clay. I feel like most of the tension in my head is gone. How about that face pain, that face yeah, tension? Yeah, it's gone. It's like, I mean, it's still present probably because my body's adjusting. But it was a five minute ago. Yeah. What, it was like one, two now? Yeah, I think this kind of yeah. stuff's worth it. Um, <laughs> You know, like, that's awesome. It's yeah. his first time ever, guys. First yeah. time ever. And, you know, especially he says I had all this stuff that before I probably carried before a concussion that I never addressed. And I think it's something that you need to, uh, it's something that you need to take. take Feeling care of. this result, you know that you're like, there's something bigger here than just what you thought before. Yeah. Good. I love it. This is called recalibration, guys. We send our patients down the hall to spread that neck adjustment to the feet. Let's check in. Standing straight up and walking, it feels a lot better. It feels easier, it feels different, right? Yeah. Stand the front door, please, right here. The tension is kind of receding. I don't feel as much in my jaw at all. Um, they base my neck, feel, I mean, I. it feels it's a still lot all there. Yeah, it's, it's but there, it's but yeah. Okay, so what do we say? We hit a five in your face, what is it now? Oh, it's probably less, two or less. Two, how about the neck? Much, much better, yeah, probably okay. two. Headache, do we say, do we talk about headache? How much mm -hmm. your headache? Um, I had a headache before. The headache is definitely gone, if gotcha. not, you know. Any ringing in the ears difference? Nope, no more ringing. Gotcha. Incredible. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. And all we did was adjust his neck, guys. Again, concussion. Nothing, no big deal. You had no pain there before, right? <laughs> you feel already different, don't you? Yeah, actually yeah. moved. How much pain there, sir? Three, you know. Way better. Else for sure. Pretty cool. I like it. Good. Say goodbye.